Okay, he thomics ganatani. Good morning. It is sometime around eight o'clock in a.m. on Saturday, October fifth, twenty nineteen, and going into the lunar cycle. Awaka siki sum the dear moon, and Chelsea and I have a day off today. No kids, no works. <laughs> <laughs> So I figure we're going to get into some fun stuff and I'll bring the camera along and mm. uh, show you our day. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go inside and check on Daisy Duck. She's in the washroom of my classroom. Um, <laughs> Daisy Duck came to me, what, two nights ago? Yeah. Two nights ago, like at 9.30 at night or something, some guy come drop her off. They found her on the street. And uh, so I'm taking care of her till Monday. On Monday, she's got a ride up north to an actual wildlife facility. She's got something wrong with the right side of her body. Probably she was whacked by a vehicle. Um, but yeah, we'll go take a look at Daisy. She likes raspberries, so I brought her some raspberries and some other salad stuff and uh, get her fixed up. Probably got some poops to clean. Check out the progress. The artisans have had on their building of an inventory might do a Christmas craft sale we're not sure we're building toward a trade show in March so it might be a good idea just to keep what we've got we're, mm -hmm. we're considering all right Daisy is back here <laughs> Hey girl. Hey girl. Oh, yeah, you made some mess. It's all right, I'm gonna clean it up and then I'm gonna give you some raspberries. Hey Daisy. So, it's pretty much cleaned up in here. I mean, your box is pretty gross, but we're gonna change that out next time. Next stop. But you've got food. Look at this. Got some pineapple jerk. Hey, nobody tell Daisy she might be eating other birds. Pineapple jerk salad, rice and stuff. Maybe some quinoa, and greens. And I know she likes raspberries, so we're gonna leave her with some raspberries. This is some seven grain cereal here that she's been eating. Big water bowl. So I'll probably leave a camera going here. And we'll see the daisy action while Chelsea and I go for a run.
and we're still here like 20 minutes later because <laughs> somebody started looking in the bead boxes and now they have to be organized. <laughs> No. <laughs> you know that's a losing battle. I know. <laughs> it looks neater. It does. Somebody will have a nice surprise Monday morning. run just taking Polly for his afternoon walk his run I should say down at the wilderness park for the afternoon just about coming into the uh, rapids here switch the direction of the camera and show you. It's my favorite place to kind of feel like I, I really entered the park. <laughs> yeah. Just looking at some of the snow damage on the side of the trail here, the, the trees that have, you know, young trees, supple, pretty, uh, elastic trees that have been just cracked in half because of the the snowstorm here you know the cottonwoods unlike the elm trees in our neighborhood at least held, held their uh, leaves a little bit through all that trauma they're gonna lose them like you know in this week though here we come the rapids doesn't look like anybody's here some pelicans see so that tells you this is a weird time of the year to have snow on the ground <laughs> Even the mature trees, a lot of them gave out pretty big trunks and branches to the weight, you know, the weight of the snow. <laughs> Just hanging out on the bench having some laughs. <laughs> No, it's kind of a ridiculous bench because it, I'll show you. It like it, all it faces is this big tree. It's not even you know. I mean, it's an impressive tree and everything. See, shells on the bench. It's a big, impressive tree. It's not the biggest tree in the in the forest. Maybe at one time you could see the river from here. You know, that's not, I mean, it is the river's back there. You got to look through the look through the brush and stuff <laughs> yeah scenic bench uh, anyway just taking a break <laughs> so <laughs> yeah I should have stayed put take two on this on this little video clip um <laughs> it's just commenting how 
like I should be showing you walk, but I'm showing you a lot of bench. And we're at the we're at another bench. This is way downstream from where we were before. Uh, kind of a better view, in that there's, you know, not tree and brush in the way. But if I was if I just walked 20 meters ahead and put the bench there instead of where it is, the view is so much better. <laughs> in clip one, I actually walked there to do that, but. 20 meters is a long time to, to walk people over there and show them, you know, the river. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show it to you in like one second. <laughs> Here I am in the place where the bench could have been. <laughs> Maybe in the distant past it was, but now it's way back there. Oh, we definitely got to turn this around. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> See, we cannot have a video about benches. <laughs> well, we could, but we're not even showing the benches, really. <laughs> Talking Sitting. about them. <laughs> Sitting on them. All right, this is this has become a video about benches, I guess. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're over to the next bench. I think this might be the last bench yeah. for the for the floodplain i don't know we, we're gonna check up the up the path here i never quite go to the end of the path here to see what's what's up there i, I just cut off to check out the rapids but look at this bench hey this bench is kind of like why is it here i don't know i guess it's i guess it's like if you've walked <laughs> from the parking lot which is not far down to this opening of the of the uh, floodplain. Maybe this is the bench where you can, if you if that's what you were here for, you're done. <laughs> you stop here, you take it all in, you go no further, you enjoy your walk, you go back to the parking lot, you leave. Maybe that's what this is about, <laughs> or just a good transition from the parking lot to the next phase. I don't know. It's just a the weirdest places to put benches in this park. <laughs> Just hiking up that trail uh, that I said to explore. Seems to go up the next adjacent coulee, leading maybe to an old mine site from the signage below. Definitely has been dug out up here. So all new territory for me. It's cool to see. It's another bench we're coming up on. Another bench I gotta show you guys quick. This may be the ultimate bench of the whole park. It certainly is the finale of this particular trail. And Finally, <laughs> a bench with a view. Hey, look at this. Now here's a bench. <laughs> this is a real, this is a super bench. This is a real bench. It's a no bullshit bench. The only flaw in this bench is the rail. Why is this rail here? <laughs> <laughs> that thing looks like it could hold back horses. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's here. Cause I can't. I like as a human being, I'm not tempted to fall off the edge. I'm not even afraid. Like this is gonna happen. Oh no! What if I go past the rail? Oh no, I'm going to suddenly plunge off of this hill. <laughs> oh, it's got to be, it's got to be a horse thing, right? So maybe it's not a design flaw. Just startled this deer a little bit. I'm out here um, in this kind of erosion area 
slop off off of the coolie rim natural feature and I think there's a garter snake den up in here somewhere Chelsea and I were just off of the trail over here it's Chelsea down there and we saw a wandering garter snake and we've got this kind of like horn in the land the kind of thing that develops from this certain um, kind of slide off the coulee I think and in my experience these are the areas where you might find pockets of snakes garter snakes other snakes but doesn't always follow those rules <laughs> thought I'd come up here and check anyway it's somewhere up here that snakes on the move last few snakes that didn't make it to the dens before their big snowstorm are probably on their way today this weekend anyway oh mr. Polly acting so sweet mm -hmm. Back at home now. Post walk. Got some chicken. Some leftover burritos. <laughs> Mexican from last night. Taco Del Mar. If you want fast food, Mexican in Lethbridge, that's a place to go. Mm -hmm. At 10 bucks a plate, you get really good stuff. Oh, what? What? Oh, what are you upset about, Mr. Bird? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When are you going to break off that beak? Yeah. You got quite the hook beak there. Quite the hook. Yeah. You tell him. I got a hook. Better break that off, buddy. Ah, poly boy. Come here, big boy. Come here, big boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just enjoying his late morning run. Another night has passed. I didn't do too much more recording after our walk yesterday. Pretty much like you saw, we went home. We started stuffing our face with some good stuff. You know, chicken and all of that. <laughs> but we filled our stomachs then uh, retreated to bed with the laptop turned on some Netflix you know just chilled out in the bed for a couple of hours snoozed a bit off and on and uh, waited for the evening and then at night we headed over to Good Times downtown and uh, saw the, the Saturday evening comedy show always try like if the kids aren't here Friday or Saturday night we usually go give some business to Good Times and and enjoy the fact that Lethbridge even has a comedy club. <laughs> so, yeah, so not much more to report. I think the only clip that I didn't show or I didn't describe as I went through the day was uh, a, a little investigation I conducted. I've been noticing that this kitchen cupboard right under our sink is a lot of times open when I come home. If I'm gone for a couple hours, nobody's there. I'll come home, that kitchen cupboard's open. And I suspected it was Polly. I didn't suspect it was ghosts, but I set up a camera to confirm that. <laughs> and sure enough, I caught Polly, you know, coming in and out of the cupboard. I don't know what he's doing in there. The, the dog kibble's in there, but he doesn't appear. Like, I, I, I haven't seen any indication of the bag being uh, broken into in my absence. I think he, he goes there mainly for security reasons. Unfortunately, the video camera just just caught 10 minutes of, of footage and only a little a little clip in there fully going in and out so I got to look at what he's doing there some more um, but I suspect he's just going there for like it's this little uh, little den hole you know <laughs> um, that was the only thing I didn't report from yesterday that I thought was of interest this morning when did my usual Sunday morning walk and talk and discovered that there's a big story going on at Stolbikimi over the past week. Last weekend when I went out there, the big snow day, um, which I filmed, the beavers had no food cache at that time that I could see above the water. No winter food cache yet. But over this past week, 
they've pretty much they've put together a full winter food cache for the most part as big a flotilla as I usually see them use in the winters and it looks like they're transforming their the little scent mound that they've had for years outside the lodge looks like they're transforming it into a new lodge um, that maybe the heavy snow and the melt off um, might have collapsed some of the roof on their large lodge and then they're, they're just like they're pressed to their limits with their with being able to use and, and uh, recover that large lodge so I suspect they're they're going to be moving into that what was a scent mound they're going to be creating a lodge out of it. it's grown significantly in the last week and it's looking mini lodges so I'm going to be following that story this week going to watch the beavers and see what they're up to if I, if I can and um yeah other than that that was a a day off in the life of Ryan Chels. Ha, ha, ha.